Previously, we examined a concept known as rest mass or rest mass energy. Now, the rest mass energy of a stationary particle is basically the quantity of energy that particle has as a result of its mass. So basically, mass is one form of energy and mass can be readily transformed into energy as we'll see in the following example. So, the energy that is released in nuclear reactions comes from the loss in mass of the particles that are involved within that reaction. So, in one particular reaction, uranium with a mass of 232.03714 unified atomic mass units decays. It breaks down into an atom called thorium with a mass of 228.02873 unified atomic mass units plus a single atom of helium with a mass of 4.00260 unified atomic mass units. Now if one unified atomic mass unit is equal to 1.6605 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms, we want to find the energy that is released in this nuclear reaction as a result of the transformation of mass into energy. So, let's begin by describing what is taking place by looking at the following diagram. So, initially, we have a single uranium atom that has a mass that is equal to this quantity. Now, that uranium atom is basically unstable, so it breaks down into more stable atoms. It breaks down into a single helium and a single thorium, and when it breaks down, some of that mass that it initially had was basically transformed into energy. So the nuclear reaction takes place, energy is released as a result of that transformation of mass to energy, and these two particles are formed, these two atoms are formed, which are more stable than our initial atom. So basically, to solve this example and find what the energy is that is released, let's begin by using the conservation of energy. So the energy that we had initially is equal to the energy that we have in the final products. So let's begin with the energy on the left side of our reaction. So the only energy that we have on the left side is the energy as a result of rest mass. So the rest mass energy of a stationary particle is given by E equals mc squared, where m is the mass of that particle and c is the speed of light. So the mass of the uranium multiplied by c squared is equal to. Now the energies that we have on the product side of this reaction is the energy that is released, we'll symbolize that with E, plus the rest mass energy of the helium, plus the rest mass energy of the thorium. So, we want to calculate what this energy E is. So let's solve for E by rearranging this equation. So E is equal to the rest mass energy of the uranium minus the sum of the rest mass energy of the helium and our thorium. Now another way that we can represent this equation is by using this. The energy that is released E as a result of the reaction is equal to the product of the change in mass multiplied by c squared. Now the change in mass can be calculated by taking the mass that we had initially and subtracting the mass that the products have. So, the change in mass is equal to the mass of our uranium, 232.03714U minus the sum of the mass of the helium and our thorium. So this will give us 
positive 0.00581 unified atomic mass units. So basically, the difference between the mass of our uranium and the sum of these two masses is equal to this quantity. And that's the quantity of mass that was basically transformed into energy. So, now in step two, we want to convert from unified atomic mass units to kilograms by taking this and multiplying that by 1.6605 times 10 to negative 27. So we multiply, the U will cancel, and our kilograms are left. So 9.648 times 10 to the negative 30 kilograms. So now we go back to this equation, E equals change in MC squared. So the change in mass in kilograms is given by this quantity, and the speed of light in a vacuum is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. We square that, multiply, and we get that the energy that is transformed from mass into energy is 8.683 times 10 to the negative 13 joules.